Why are we feeling so rejected, unworthy, so unloved? Is it because we don't deserve God's love? None of us deserve God's love. If you knew the truth of God's word, you'd know that no one is righteous. No one deserves his love. That's why God sent Jesus that we might get a love transfer of His righteousness into us by His grace through faith in Him. The short answer, you get what Jesus deserves. That's ridiculous. It's immeasurable love, the love of God. You get what Jesus deserves. Praise God. So let's land this right now by talking about how to live life in love. That's called living life strong. In part two, we looked at four basic applications to work truth and light for the outcome of life. I've got a feeling, I've just got a feeling, those same directives work for love. Number one, obey. That's what Jesus did every step he took on earth. And he's the king of kings, so surely we can understand that to obey is to activate love. Number two, we talked about praise. Praise is an amplifier. What we need in this world is more love, so praise is key. Psalm 21 verse 13 actually says this, we will sing and praise your power. Love is his power, his identity. And then number three, attend. This addresses the love illiteracy de deficit that we have. Attend what? His word, his love. And then number four, imitate. We get to imitate love. Jesus is the word, he's light, and he is love. We have his example. That's why he told his disciples, love one another. Just as I've loved you, we get to imitate love. Look here, these four applications work the identity of love. Obey, praise, attend, and imitate. If you're singing about love in some building with a cross on it, but not living out love in the family Jesus died for, then you're truth illiterate. Don't get mad at you. Just repent. Get right and walk in love right now. Let the person of truth light and love inside you right now. Why wait? God doesn't want your penance. He wants your person. That's all of you. Love doesn't want your sacrifice, but your faith in His sacrifice. Truth doesn't want your promise, but you to trust in God's promise. Light doesn't need you to give power, but to give permission for God's power. And love doesn't demand, love supplies, love supplies, yes, love gives. The bottom line is, this is all to have life.